Hey Collective, how are you? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Uh, this is for the Collective. It's a general reading. If at any time you do resonate with this reading, please go ahead and hit that like button. Um, I'm going to take a look at your situation, but also kind of what's coming in. I want to see what's headed your way, what's happening in the Collective. I have this um, energy right when I hit record, like it was getting amped up, okay? So a lot of excitement or anticipation for something seems to be um, very prominent in the collective. <clears throat> Almost like you know that something is coming. Some of you may be fully aware of what's coming. Forgive me, others of you, this is intuitive. This is your energy connecting to what is for you as you start to align on your path and your purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it with my blessing and my prayer, and we're gonna take a look and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for the collective in regards to their current life situation and what's coming in for them. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycle soul lessons and generational curses they may encounter or about to be encountering. You need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Sorry, my cats are being really adorable and distraught. They were like booping each other with their noses. And it was so cute, a little boop boops. So maybe you have cats, but I've never seen them do that. <clears throat> All right, Holy Spirit. Messages, please, for the collective. What's coming in for them? What can they expect? Haha. <laughs> funny nothing is yet set in stone um hold your vision i just feel like this is a reminder like if you get caught up with this before i get another one i want to make sure i get this out uh with nothing is yet set in stone i'm just getting this energy uh as a reminder don't get caught up in those doubts or those fears that start rising as you um find yourself still waiting you know what i mean because i feel like you're still in the void you have hold your vision you've done enough work um and i kind of posted about this on my community page the other day but it's like you've done enough work to know that something should be arriving by now and because it's not here you're wondering why and spirit is saying hold your vision because this is a time for healing right now okay so you hold your vision in a time for healing just because what you've prayed for and what you've asked for isn't here yet doesn't mean it's not for you and it doesn't mean it's not coming right um a lot of times we find ourselves in our journey like okay surrendering to god because we don't always know what his plan is right but we always know that he's going to come through and so you need to use that as an anchor um you know king david in the bible he was anointed king they say uh, uh, between the ages of 11 and 15. that's when they say that he was anointed by the prophet um, to become king but he didn't actually become king until he was they say between 30 and 36 i believe so he had to wait like 15 years or more uh, knowing the whole time that something was coming for him, but he never lost sight of God, right? He never lost sight of, of his Lord and Savior, and he never lost sight of, of the vision is what, I, is what I'm seeing. So just a reminder that just because it's not here yet doesn't mean that it's not for you, and it doesn't mean that it's not coming. Again, on the bottom, you have expect powerful change. I love that it's in an eclipse. You you can't see what's coming, what's taking place, what's uh, for you, but you feel it. On this journey, one of our biggest lessons has been to what? To trust our intuition, because that's where God speaks to us. That's where we receive our, our messages and our guidance. And so this is another one of those lessons. It's like the last and final test. It's a test of faith. It's a test of patience. It's a test of discernment. It's a test of everything that you've learned um, 
throughout your your healing process this is the six of cups in the tower so for some of you there's something from your past that's coming forward and it's going to blow you away now what i'm seeing is there's going to be um it's both okay um but it, it so spiritually this is going to be either a memory a wound a trauma an emotional um situation from your childhood that's going to rise up out of nowhere i don't think you're expecting this and there's going to be some type of revelation so there could be something taking place with your children um or you could be you know or your inner child but i i see that whatever happens to you spiritually does play out for the majority of you physically as well so this could be somebody from your past coming back or a soulmate connection that you're not expecting something shocking takes place here that's interesting that that fell out for some of you you have a soulmate coming in because you've cleared out some trauma what's coming in please for the collective I just heard get specific. That's what I heard, get specific. So in your prayers, in your communication, I put that in my community tab too. So it's just, again, when we're talking about patience and believing and faith and all of that, it's putting in your request, Matthew 7, 7, asking you shall receive, but make sure you're specific because he's always going to bless you and give you more than you could imagine you know, as you stay on this path and stay connected to him. But it's good to be specific and give him pinpoints. They, Man, let me tell you, God does respond. Testimonies all day. All right, what's coming towards you? You have the nine of wands, the seven of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, ooh wee, and the six of swords. You have the fool the moon, the three of wands and the chariot. <clears throat> I feel like this is just yelling freedom. It's screaming freedom to me. There's a massive release and surrender here with the fool and the, the moon. Okay, I feel like that comes in with this, uh, the tower that we saw. I feel like this is representing that yep here we go with the ace of swords there's a clarity you could be communicating with someone that you haven't spoken to in a while or you're receiving the truth the, the whatever you the answer that you've been looking for it's on its way to you here with the star and it comes to you this reminds me of um I don't know if you guys are familiar with Pastor Keon Henderson from the Lighthouse Church in Houston, Texas. He's my favorite pastor. Um, but he did a sermon and it was about you have to heal first um, and then the pain goes away. Like you don't get to deal with, you know what I'm saying? You have to heal first and then the pain goes away. You have to address the situation, then the pain goes away. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like you have to get over it before the the pain isn't going to go away until you just let it go, until you forget about it, until you push yourself through and realize, I don't want to deal with this. And I feel like that's what you're doing here with this three of wands and the chariot. Like something that you have been holding on to, again, hold your vision, okay, is the three of wands. Something that you've been holding on to, some type of manifestation, a dream about where you wanted to go you've kind of been in this stagnant energy, this pause. Why? Because there was still some type of emotional baggage that was trailing along behind you every time you tried to jump off this uh, cliff and surrender. I feel like your heart, your intentions were pure. That's what I'm seeing. Your, int your intentions were pure, but there, there was still something that needed to be released that I feel like you were missing. That's, I feel the divine is stepping in and just going to give you the clarity so that you can release it, right? Because they don't want to see you continuously holding on to it. Uh, you have the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles, wheel of fortune and the six of swords. 
you're so apprehensive. It's funny because you really want this fresh start, this new beginning. I see it. You really want it. You're staring at it. Um, you, you're excited about it. You want to go after it. But again, seven of pentacles, you're, you're waiting. You don't feel like it's the right time. There's always some type of reasoning as to why not now, right? Oh, and I can't do it right now. So I don't know if that's you or the person that's coming towards you. Like they're really thinking about, I feel like this is the other person. If it's you, it's you. But I feel, I'm feeling like this is what someone like looking at you is feeling. And they're apprehensive about moving forward I feel like this may be a new person, whoever it is, they're apprehensive about moving forward because of what they've experienced in the past. I feel this person is also on a healing path, but they're slow to action because they're still unsure of themselves in certain areas because it's all new. Okay. Clarify, please. The nine of wands and the seven of pentacles. I feel like you may have already uh, connected with this person or know this person. Yeah, see, I can't make this up. It's literally what I just said. I like you and then clock. So this person who, who wants to come towards you, they recognize that they have some sort of connection towards you, that they are attracted to you, they're interested in you. But again, they're in this cycle and this process of healing from past wounds, from past traumas. And so I see them just really trying to take things super, super slow, uh, almost too slow, because it looks as though it, there's been a pause and no action has been taken. But I do feel like you've already um, met and or communicated with this person. You guys may have just been texting back and forth, like flirting. Some of you may have actually met this person a few times in person as well, but it, it hasn't turned into anything uh, serious yet. For others of you, you haven't met them, but they do recognize you. They know who you are. Like somebody has their eye on you. Oh, this person is in it for the long haul. See, that's why. That's why. So I feel like, ooh, that's what this is. For some of you, this person, when they met you or came into contact with you or felt that connection, there was something that triggered this person into healing. That's why they're taking their time. You also have some sort of um, financial abundance that I feel is on its way to you. Yes, yeah, see someone's cleansing their energy. What did I just tell you? That they're texting you guys. See, someone doesn't want to come towards you until their energy is um, cleansed. Until they can show you some type of, uh, in their mind, what you would perceive as like a level up or being worthy of. Okay? This person is going to be texting you or they already have texted you. You are in communication with this person. I do feel like a lot of you know that this person is attracted to you. But I feel this energy of you kind of pulling back. I see you pulling back from this person or it's like the conversations will go really well and then all of a sudden there's no conversations. Tell me about this seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune, please. If this person lives at a distance from you or if they're, because I, I feel like somebody did travel, they're on their way back. That's why you're waiting. That's why uh, Spirit is saying, hold your vision. I also feel like with this Nine of Wands, that this person, again, with clearing energy too, they're releasing things. It could be people, it could be situations, but this person doesn't want to come towards you until they don't have any attachments. That's why it's taking so long. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please, and the Wheel of Fortune. Hand of cards, being strategic, options, take a chance, risk, not showing the hand. So a lot of you have no clue that that's what this person is doing. Again, with the fool, taking a chance, taking a risk. This person wants to take a leap of faith with you, but at the same time, they're being very strategic about something that, I mean, I don't want to say spontaneous, but kind of. It's supposed to be just led by intuition and not so much 
um, taking the time to pinpoint everything, right? And then keys on a ring. Okay, because this person, uh, some of you may have had um, a one night stand with this person or already slept with this person, okay? Um, but you have keys on a ring. So there may be concern about other options. There may be concern that this person is gonna string you along. They may also be fearful of that with the nine of wands that maybe they, maybe it's not that serious. Maybe it was just a hookup and they don't want to be, come forward and be vulnerable. Vulnerable. Why can't I speak? But I see them coming forward and expressing their feelings towards you. Clarify please. Seven of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. Success is yours. See, if this person had options, if this was just like a fling or if this wasn't serious, and it keep in mind, it doesn't have to have just been that. Um, but I do feel like that this is new enough where it hasn't made it to a stage of a, of a relationship, of a committed relationship, okay? Um, so if there were options involved or if there was other things taking place in this person's life, they are choosing you. Like this is going to work out in your favor. That's why spirit is saying, um, expect powerful change, a time for healing. See, it's on the horizon. This makes me think of the three of wands. So holding your vision, knowing that it's yours. If you're manifesting something, if you asked God for something, if you believe it, you will receive it. So why would you ask him for something and then immediately begin to, to doubt it? Yeah, see, not hearing you. Because if you, how is the universe supposed to move forward with what you've asked for if you're not speaking clearly that's why you have to get specific clarify the wheel of fortune please and the six of swords i don't think that you see this coming there's this energy that i don't feel like is connected to whoever this new person is of detachment it's you detaching from the past things that you've been through right from the pain from the drama whatever it is and so you're kind of coasting along in this one direction and you don't necessarily have your back towards this person and this situation but because of what you've been through and because of the healing that you've gone through i feel you're also not putting all of your eggs in one basket so you're moving a little bit differently than you have before. And because of that, this is new territory for you. So you don't really have, um, you don't have it down yet. The, the roads, the paths for you are not familiar because you just jumped off of a cycle. So you, it may look like you have your back to this person and, and perhaps this person has even felt some sort of disconnect from you. I don't actually think you're trying to disconnect with this person. I think that you're trying to navigate how to, um, how you want to coast, how you want to sail in this new, some of you guys have money coming. This happened in the Aries reading too. Um, oh my goodness. So it's like you guys are trying to navigate which direction you're going to sail, um, and how you want to manage uh, any waves, any emotions that come along uh, during this new journey, right? Because you want to do things differently. And so because of that, you're all concerned about where to place your energy and how to be in your lane and aligned and focused while still learning how to uh, interact. <laughs> you know, like when you go through an awakening and you're in this new frequency, there's can be this, this not anxiety, but this like, oh, I don't know how to like, how do I mingle with people? So I, that's kind of what I'm feeling. So this person may feel like you've disconnected or vice versa, but know that it's just because there's a shift taking place within each of your own personal frequency and vibration. You are ascending, evolving and aligning. And so what feels like a disconnect I, I'm seeing is actually going to end up bringing you to uh, possibly back on the same path with this Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. So see, you have girl talk, time with friends, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. You're, you're moving on and away from things. I feel like the old you would have stuck around and been like, oh, okay, what's going on? The new you is like, oh, okay, they, I didn't hear from them today. That's okay. I got stuff to do. I'm doing my own thing. Like I'll hear from them when I hear from them. I'll make the decision then.
Mm, mm, mm. You have addiction, but then you have the phoenix here. Tell me about this, please. Some of you could have just recently healed from an addiction or are moving away from an addiction or some, uh, uh, your ex had an addiction, a controlling relationship, an abusive relationship, a toxic, you know, um, but it was an addiction to a certain type of pain emotionally, like the core root of what you're walking away from is the addiction to toxic love, toxic relationships, toxic emotions. You know, there may have been an addiction to feel pain and you weren't aware of it, but now you are. Yeah, and then you have mask. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Swords, and then you have Girl Talk, Addiction, and Mask. There is somebody here, like I said, who is not telling you how they really feel, okay? Uh, they're not showing their true feelings. But the issue that I have here now is that addiction came out and now I have boat and I have mask. All right. So there is a new person coming towards you, but here's what the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords is letting me know. While you're walking away from something, you also have somebody from your past. And I saw this in a couple of um, signs that I did the other day, sign readings that I did. I feel like some of you are just minding your own business and something from the past that you pulled yourself away from pops back up. Now, it's popping back up to give you the closure that you need. You're moving on. And there is somebody here that cannot believe that this is over. Okay, is dead and gone. You, that's it's like I was saying. That's why you're moving in this direction. If something isn't aligning with you, because I feel two energies where someone from the past is seeing what you're doing, is wanting to reach out to you, and may come towards you as a test, right? Because Wheel of Fortune represents that final test of uh, closing out karmic cycles and getting off of your faded path and moving into your destined your destiny. Um, and in order to move into your destiny, you have to fully let go and show God how you've learned your lesson. I'm not going back to that. That could be why that tower in the Six of Cups came out. But there's also an energy of somebody else here who wants to move towards you, who's attracted to you because they see you living in your, your light, you're happy, you're, you don't have anyone... No, no drama stressing you out. See, you're all positive energy. You're not dealing with this. You're being aligned. You're moving up. Yep. Goodbye. What's that one? Seeing clearly. Ooh, collective. So you closed out an entire cycle. That's why Spirit is saying hold your vision. You have to hold your vision because some of you haven't, um, you haven't gotten to your final test yet. So just prepare yourself because there is a test coming and this is a test and it's going to be like I, I was saying earlier, you know, I think it was this reading or was it in Pisces? No, it was this one. Sorry. I've been doing back to back, but about using everything you've learned, the discernment, the patience, all of that, all of that accumulated for this final test. There's somebody coming back or coming back in your energy or their energy just may still be connected to you because this person doesn't want to let go of you. And so your final test is for you to release it because there's a new energy here that's trying to come in. That's why you have positive energy uh, seeing clearly. You're going to cut the cords. I also feel like some of you are going to receive an actual message um, from this person because down here on the bottom, with the Ace of Swords and the Star. They want to clear the air. Whatever happened in your past, whoever this person is, whatever it's connected to, it's eating them alive. It's literally eating them alive. They're haunted by this every day. And what they don't realize is that they need to take accountability in order to free themselves from this Eight of Swords. And some of you are going to experience that person uh, having that revelation and actually reaching out to take accountability for the, whatever they did. And that's what's going to help you cut the cords and fly forward. For others of you, your lesson is to learn how to um, 
let go, heal, forgive, and, and do it for yourself without receiving an apology, without receiving any more acknowledgement or communication, right? So the lessons will be different for each of you, but I see what's taking place here. And remember, I think in the previous uh, few readings I did, um, and even what I posted on the community pages, it's like the next two weeks, these tests are coming in and that's showing very clearly here. And then you have a uh, chariot though, so a lot of you will finalize this test here in, in chariot season, and then you have strength on the bottom. So by Leo season, probably lion's gate is when you're really going to see the, the full scope of your abundance and your blessings. And you're really going to be able to see clearly uh, what's coming for you. All right, you guys, I'm sending you much love on this journey. Keep up the good work and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.